Hi everyone, I am Fan Ken San, and I'm going to present our work, LAMO, Language Modeling for Lifelong Language Learning. This is a work by Fan Ken San, Chen Hao Ho, and Professor Hong Yi Li from National Taiwan University. Lifelong learning is the process of learning multiple tasks sequentially. The model will first learn task 1, then task 2, then task 3, and so on and so forth. However, for most machine learning algorithms, the model can't learn multiple tasks sequentially due to catastrophic forgetting. That is, the model will forget about task 1 after learning on task 2 and forget about task 1 and task 2 after learning on task 3. In this work, we aim for lifelong language learning. We want our model to learn different NLP tasks sequentially without catastrophic forgetting. These NLP tasks include sentiment classification, semantic role labeling, goal-oriented dialogue, question answering, and semantic parsing. A branch of methods for solving lifelong learning is the data-based method. These methods need a separate data generator model to generate pseudo data. So the main model is able to train on data for current task and pseudo data for previous tasks. Our method is also data-based. However, a big advantage of our method is that we only need one model, a language model. So this language model is able to solve tasks and generate pseudo data simultaneously. In order to achieve that, we adopt the squad-like format transformation to transform all input-output pairs from different NLP tasks into the same format, the context question and answer format. For example, in sentiment classification, the input might be one long string of cliches and the output is negative. After transformation, the context is one long string of cliches. The question is, is this sentence positive or negative, followed by a special answer token, and the answer is negative. As mentioned, we want our model to generate pseudo-data and solve tasks simultaneously. So in pseudo-data generation, given the special generation token, our model should output context question answer sequence. And in task solving, given context and question, our model should output answer. To achieve that, in training, we feed the context question answer sequence into the model in two ways, training for generation and training for task solving. For generation, our model should output the whole context question answer sequence and the loss is calculated on the whole sequence. In task solving, our model should only output answer and the loss is only calculated on the answer. Here is the experiment on three datasets. These three datasets are SST, SRL, and WOZ. We compared our method with previous state-of-the-art methods, EWC, MAS, GEM, on all six order and take the average of it. We can see that demo greatly outperforms previous state-of-the-art methods. Also, the performance of our method is quite close to that of multitask, which in this case is considered as an upper bound. Additionally, we found that adding task-specific tokens help the performance. That is, we changed the special generation token into a task-specific token for each task. In this way, during pseudo-data generation, the model is able to know which task-specific data to generate. In this experiment, we use squad, wikiSQL, SST, SRL, and WOZ and train the models in this order. We can see that adding task-specific tokens help with the performance, especially when there are more tasks. Also, our performance is again quite close to that of multitasks. In conclusion, LAMO is a simple yet effective method for lifelong language learning. More details and experiments are shown in the paper. Thank you for your listening.